differently that Tesla is not doing? Uh, we have more models. <laughs> so just a very simple example. We have seven to nine. The BYD has unveiled a new technology. BYD stands for Build Your Dreams. BYD is a high-tech, idea company. 2,100 kilometers. That's the total range you can get with BYD's new hybrid on just one tank and one charge. Imagine a car that can travel 2,100 kilometers. That's more than 1,300 miles on one single tank of fuel and one full charge. And here's the kicker. Even when the battery runs out, the car still only uses 2.9 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. That's less than half of what the most efficient gasoline cars on the road consume today. So how exactly did BYD pull this off? Let's break it down step by step. At their big launch event, BYD unveiled two new models, the SEAL 06 and the Chin L. Both are sleek, modern plug-in hybrids, but the cars themselves weren't the main attraction. The real spotlight fell on the fifth-generation dual-mode hybrid system, or DM for short. Unlike traditional hybrids where the gasoline engine often takes the lead, BYD flipped the formula. In this setup, the electric motor does most of the heavy lifting, while the gasoline engine sits quietly in the background only waking up when it can operate at peak efficiency. That's the secret sauce. No more wasting fuel idling in traffic, no more revving up a combustion engine just to crawl through a parking lot. Instead, the electric motor handles those everyday tasks, while the gas engine plays backup, stepping in only when the conditions are perfect. The result? A car that goes further burns less fuel and saves money for the driver, all without range anxiety. Now, let's look under the hood. BYD's new engine is a 1.5-liter petrol unit. On paper, the numbers don't sound groundbreaking, about 99 horsepower. But horsepower isn't the point here. The brilliance lies in its efficiency. This engine achieves 46.06% thermal efficiency. That means nearly half of the energy from the fuel is actually turned into usable power. That might sound abstract, but in the car world it's revolutionary. To put it into context, Toyota long held the crown with an engine that reached 41%. BYD has now jumped far ahead. Getting there wasn't easy. Engineers reportedly carried out more than 240 different combustion experiments just to perfect the fuel-air mixture. They tested over 100 cooling methods to stop the engine from overheating when pushed to the limit. They even increased the compression ratio, essentially the pressure inside the cylinders, from 15.5 to 16. That small numerical change required countless hours of fine-tuning, but it paid off. The result is an engine that burns cleaner, wastes less energy, and works in harmony with the electric motor instead of fighting against it. Here's something most people don't realize. This engine doesn't run all the time. In fact, it's designed to stay off as much as possible. When it does activate, it only runs inside what BYD calls its high-efficiency zone. That means the car avoids burning fuel in situations where engines are traditionally inefficient, like stop-and-go traffic. Instead, the electric motor takes care of those low-speed, low-demand moments. The gasoline engine only wakes up when it can deliver maximum efficiency. That's one of the reasons the car can stretch its range so far. On the electric side, BYD offers two motor options depending on what kind of driver you are. The first delivers 161 horsepower, ideal for people who prioritize efficiency. The second option bumps things up to 215 horsepower, perfect for those who want a little more punch on the highway. Either way, the motors provide instant torque, making the car feel lively and quick off the line. BYD's strategy is clever. Instead of forcing everyone into one setup, they let buyers choose whether they want ultimate economy or a balance of performance and range. But the engine and motors are just part of the story. BYD completely re-engineered the entire powertrain. They combined seven separate components into a single compact controller. That means fewer wires, less wasted energy, and smoother coordination between parts. This 7-in-1 controller doesn't just save space, it boosts overall system efficiency to 92%, an extraordinary number in the hybrid world. It also improves reliability by reducing the number of parts that can fail. And then there's power density. The new hybrid system has 70% higher power density than before, which means more performance in a smaller, lighter package. That makes the car more responsive and fun to drive while still being efficient. Of course, no modern hybrid would work without a solid battery, and BYD has one of the best in the business, the Blade battery. Most electric vehicles still rely on nickel-manganese cobalt batteries which are expensive, prone to overheating, and tangled in complicated supply chains. 
BYD went a different route using lithium iron phosphate, LFP chemistry. LFP is cheaper, safer, and far less likely to catch fire. But BYD didn't stop there. Instead of stacking or rolling battery cells like other automakers, they designed them as long, flat blades lined up edge to edge. This reduces wasted space and increases energy density by about 50% compared to traditional LFP packs. The blade battery is so tough it passed the infamous nail penetration test, where engineers drive a metal spike straight through the cell. Most batteries would burst into flames. The blade battery? No fire, no smoke, just stability. Cooling was also redesigned. BYD switched from a T-shaped system to an S-shaped layout, improving temperature balance across the battery by 45%. That means less wear and a longer lifespan. In fact, after 3,000 full charge cycles, the blade battery still retains 90% of its capacity. That's years longer than many competitors. For drivers, that translates into fewer replacements, lower costs, and peace of mind. BYD's obsession with efficiency didn't stop at the battery or engine, they tweaked almost every part of the car. The front grille can open and close automatically depending on cooling needs. When it's closed, drag is reduced, improving efficiency. Low drag brake calipers and ultra-low rolling resistance tires cut friction. The body shape was sculpted to glide more smoothly through the air, lowering drag coefficients across the lineup. Even the 12-volt system, the small battery that powers your lights and dashboard, was upgraded from an old lead-acid unit to a modern lithium pack. That single change reduces fuel use by 0.1 liters per 100 kilometers. On its own, it's minor. But BYD's strategy is all about stacking dozens of these small improvements until the total result is massive. Because the blade battery is thinner and more compact, BYD also had room to increase the fuel tank size. The Chin L now carries 65 liters of fuel instead of 48. Combine that with the ultra-low fuel consumption, and suddenly, you're looking at a range that dwarfs nearly every other car in its class. One of BYD's greatest advantages isn't just technology, it's how they build it. While many car makers rely heavily on outside suppliers for key parts, BYD produces almost everything in-house. Batteries, motors, chips, semiconductors, thermal systems, even charging modules. That independence paid off during the 2021 chip shortage. Back then, a single powertrain controller chip cost about $55. Today, BYD makes their own for just $7. Multiply that by the more than 100 chips inside each car, and the cost savings are enormous. And because they committed early to lithium iron phosphate batteries, they aren't exposed to the soaring costs of cobalt or nickel. That means fewer supply chain headaches and lower production costs. Here's where things get really surprising. With all these upgrades, you'd expect BYD's new models to cost more. But they don't. In China, the Chin L and Seal 06 start at about $13,700 and max out around $19,300. Compare that to a Toyota Corolla Hybrid which offers nowhere near the same range but costs almost the same. Or look at a Tesla Model 3 starting at more than $32,000 in China. Even more shocking, the Chin L is priced the same as the older Chin Plus Champion Edition, despite offering a new engine, longer range, better fuel economy and a redesigned platform. Instead of charging extra for a premium version, BYD passed the savings directly to customers. All of this comes at a time when the EV market is hitting roadblocks. Growth in pure electric cars has slowed, mostly because charging infrastructure hasn't caught up. Outside of major cities, finding a reliable fast charger can still be a headache. Plug-in hybrids like BYD's fill that gap perfectly. You get electric driving when you want it, gasoline backup when you need it. In China, sales numbers show just how much this matters. In 2024, plug-in hybrid sales soared by 85%, while battery electric vehicles grew by just 12%. Meanwhile, Tesla has faced production cuts and slowing demand. In one quarter of 2024, Tesla sold about 1.79 million vehicles, BYD, over 4.27 million, nearly four times as many. Instead of putting all their bets on pure EVs, BYD is scaling both hybrid and electric lines, giving buyers flexibility. And right now, flexibility is exactly what the market demands. BYD's fifth-generation hybrid isn't just another step forward, it's a leap. By combining a hyper-efficient engine, a revolutionary battery, and an obsessive focus on small details, they've created a car that travels farther, costs less, and challenges the giants of the industry. This is more than innovation. It's strategy. It's the reason BYD is outpacing companies that once defined the EV space. So here's the question. Would you choose a car that offers over 2,100 kilometers of range, incredible efficiency, 
and a price tag lower than most traditional sedans? Or would you stick with the familiar names, even if they offer less? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of mobility, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Gearhead Glam, your home for stories about the cars that shaped our past and the innovations steering us toward tomorrow.